today we are in Atlanta, Georgia. <laughs> Atlanta has everything that you would want in terms of being a traveler, really good food, lots of history, so much entertainment that it can be overwhelming to even know where to start. Finally, it's you and me, here shaking like a tambourine. About one mile northeast of downtown is Piedmont Park, which is home to the Atlanta Botanical Gardens and Atlanta's first baseball team, the Atlanta Crackers. The park is also a very popular area for bike riding, concerts, and festivals. This is the largest park in Atlanta and connects really nicely to the Atlanta Beltline. While we are here today, it looks like there is some sort of reggae Caribbean festival uh, happening, so maybe we'll check that out later. The Atlanta Beltline is a former railway passage turned thriving pedestrian walkway. With so many trails to explore and so much to see along the way, we recommend renting a bike to cram in as much as possible. For the foodies like us, there's two stops you have to make in Atlanta. Crog Street Market, which we'll get to a little later, and Pond City Market. Pont City Market had a ton of options, but I decided to order a chicken sandwich from Pops with a side of mac and cheese. Sipping my tea with a lemon. Roll down the window, play this on repeat. Whipping your neck when we cruising the street. Like what you see, but it's hard to believe. I make it look easy. And the chicken at Hops looked so good that I had Sarah order me one drumstick while I waited for my food from the L Super Pan. Thank you very much. King of Pops is a little bit of a staple in Atlanta, so I had to try it. And they serve boozy, alcoholic pops too. I was deciding between the French 75, but I went with the Blackberry Bourbon Lemonade. Then, once you're done with your food, Skyline Park is right above the market. The park is like a mini amusement park with rides, mini golf, restaurants, and carnival games. Hit me as hard as a General admission costs about $15, but it's also another $15 for the ride and game pass. There's a lot of hype around Slutty Vegan, but even so, I think we both agree that it was a bit of a surprise just how good it was. If you watch our videos, you know that we're meat eaters. But I will say, if you want people to eat plant-based or vegan, this is how you do it. Very catchy title, really fun inside, great music playing, super high energy, and the food was delicious. Food was great. Like, I would consider going vegan if it tasted like that every time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Got that flame broil like Burger King to it. Really juicy. Mine's got bacon on it. I don't know what it actually is, but. Mmm. No, I mean napkins. Mine's just like overwhelmed by the sauces and stuff that they put on it, so I mine tastes like a burger. Legit. <laughs> tastes good enough that I think, given the option, I would replace this with a regular burger and just eat this. The food is really good, but it is a bit on the pricey side. 
In total, we paid around $55 for our meal. We're heading to one of the oldest and most historic neighborhoods in Atlanta. Old Fourth Ward in Atlanta is just a neighborhood that has so much black history in it. Just a block from where we're staying is the birthplace of Martin Luther King. But really, that's just one place in this neighborhood. There's so many historic places just all around us. It feels like every house on the block we're staying at is something historic, and that's really cool. To my superpower, my moment's here, this is my eye. I'm blossoming up like a flower. My moment's come now, it's my day, girl. I've waited years for this. Where we had it? Chrome Yellow. When I googled best coffee shops in Atlanta, it's on most of the list, but more importantly, it's right around the corner from our Airbnb. Chrome Yellow is pretty cozy. Lots of plants and plenty of space to work. They have two or three benches outdoor as well. In the middle of downtown is the Centennial Olympic Park. It's really hard to miss and it's free, so it's worth walking around and seeing the Olympic rings. When you come to Atlanta, you have to visit Centennial Olympic Park. This 22-acre space was built in legacy of the 96 Olympic Games. And right around it, there's so many museums. You have the College Football Hall of Fame, CNN, and the Coca-Cola Museum. Street Market is right on the Atlanta Beltline, which makes it super accessible to get to no matter if you are driving or biking or walking. It is a food hall primarily, and it had a lot of really great options. I honestly had a hard time of choosing where to even eat, and they also have plenty of beer options as well. The food hall is nestled in the heart of Inman Park in a restored factory. Between Pont City Market and Crog Street Market, personally, I liked Crog Street better. I thought that we had considerably better food options at Crog, and they had a really great little beer garden as well. There were a lot of tasty options here, but I decided to get a cheesesteak from Fred's. And I got a chicken sandwich from Sol. We also ended up getting spicy crispy beef and dumplings. Let me tell you a little something about me. Really Saturday night I need. That's dangerous. Come on. I like that. Ooh, I like that. It's like banana shot top. Oh yeah, that's creamsicle. That's good. Oh, and we got ice cream too. 
Full disclosure, we ate a lot. Little Five Points is a neighborhood on the east side of the city. Here you'll want to eat at Vortex. You won't be disappointed. Little Five Points has to be the quirkiest neighborhood in Atlanta. I mean, look at this bar behind me. Yeah, we're definitely going to check that out. The Vortex is one of Atlanta's quirkiest eats. With its iconic skull entrance, the decor, and most importantly, the sandwiches and burgers are just as quirky as the entrance. Can't slow us down. Till the sun goes out, bring it right back around. Let it go around till it come around. You know the sun We got the cheese balls of glory, which were battered deep fried dollops of cheese curds and jalapeno bits. From the rooftop, I'ma yell it out. Once you go and get the crew, everybody coming. And although we had the option to, we didn't go crazy with our burger choices. I got the blue shroom burger topped with bacon and tots, of course. Right back around. And not wanting to venture out too crazy, I just got a bacon cheeseburger. Right back around. Also in Little Five Points is this huge mural of Andre 3000 and Big Boy from Outkast. This thing is cool. As a little bit of an added bonus, we also went to Grindhouse. There are a lot of different locations, but we went to one a little bit outside of our limit so we can meet our friends Fane and Laura from Travel Spree. I'm exhausted, but I think we did a decent job of exploring Atlanta. Yeah, I think so too. My favorite part of our trip was definitely Crock Street Market. That was amazing food and just really good vibes all around. But let us know what your favorite thing to do in Atlanta is in the comments. Before you go, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so that you never miss a detour. Hot. Tastes like a french fry? Tastes like a french fry. A little more dense. Trying to see if I could tell the difference. I don't think I really could.